Hello and welcome to Minecraft School. In this episode we're going to be learning how to eat food without monsters um, and without playing on peaceful. Uh, so as some of you might know, uh, Minecraft has a, a hunger element. And it says in the wiki, hunger is an aspect of Minecraft, Minecraft added in the adventure update that governs several aspects of gameplay. Instead of directly restoring players' health as it did prior to adventure update, eating food now fills up the food bar, which is constantly drained by the player's actions. The food bar is located opposite the player's health bar on the far bottom of the screen and represents, is represented by 10 drumsticks. While the player is sprinting, the food bar food bar depletes much faster. The player is not able to sprint if their food level is 6 or less. Now the food bar does not drain when playing on peaceful mode. So anybody who's playing on peaceful mode, anybody who wants to play without the dreaded monsters, without dreaded uh, skeletons and uh, creepers, uh, is unable to eat. Uh, and so I had uh, a request the other day saying, you know, is this, is it possible? And I racked my brain. And I thought, and there's there's some mods out there and stuff like that. But there's also a way to do it in game uh, within the vanilla game, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to create a new world called Eating Food Without Monsters. It's going to be on survival, but we're going to be able to change uh, our game mode within it, and and you know, to all sorts of different things. Uh, but game mode survival is where we want to start. So let's start with that and create a new world. Okay, here we are. We're in a lovely world, nice fresh world. There's a well, there's a village over there. Uh, what we want to do first of all, just to prevent anything from spawning straight away, is just to go straight into our options. And make sure we're on peaceful. If you're not on peaceful, change it to peaceful quickly, and then press done. So we're on peaceful. Back to our game, and you can see I've got a a, a little health bar. So let's do some sprinting. And you see, because we're on on peaceful. Nothing depletes. Oh, my health depletes. But my hunger doesn't go down. Now, because my hunger doesn't go down, I can't eat anything. Can't eat these lovely piggies. Can I? No. Uh, so, how do we change this? Well, we need to change our setting so it's on easy or normal. If it's in easy or normal, uh, suddenly our hunger will go down and things are going to get a lot more interesting. But we'll also have creepers and skeletons and zombies at night and it will terrorise that poor town over there. So let's get started and try and figure out how we can do this. Well first things first, we need to actually go onto LAN. And even if you're not connected, we can open our up, up to LAN. And even if no one else is going to come on, we, what we need to do is go onto LAN and go onto Allow Cheats. So we allow cheats on and start LAN world. That allows us to actually start cheating. So I'm going to press T and open up my chat. And then I'm going to say forward slash. And I'm going to say game mode one. And that gives me, uh, I'm now in creative mode. As you see, my health bar has disappeared. And so has my uh, hunger bar as well. And if I open up my inventory, haha, I have everything. OK, so I'm still in a, in a, a playable world. But now I'm kind of invincible and I can fly about and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Okay. It also means I can spawn in blocks. So I'm going to give myself a special block that's not in any of these tabs. And it's called a command block. And the way to get it is like this. So you go press forward slash uh, give the common people, which is my Minecraft name, 137. So 137 is the ID of the block, and da -da, there it is, a command block. Now a command block can do very special things, it's an amazing block. Uh, the wiki says that a command block is a block made with the intent to support adventure mode and allows map makers to expand interaction with the players through server commands and etc. etc. Et and what it can do for us is it we are going to use its game rules. Now game rules allow players and and command blocks to adjust several base settings. For example, uh, you can change day and night, you can do uh, fire, so you can stop fire from spreading, you can disable mob drops, you can enable or disable the spawning of mobs, which is what we're going to do today. So, the way we're going to do this 
is we're going to go and uh, adjust this block. So let's right click it and we need to type in a little command here. So we go forward slash game uh, rule, game rule, forward slash game rule, and then we tell it the game rule, which is do mob spawning, uh, capital M, capital S, false, like that. Okay, and press done. And now to now it's not actually going to do anything. What we need to do is give it a redstone signal. So I need to make a button like this. And if I press shift and right click, I can attach the button to the right of this command block. And you can put your command block anywhere you like. And then you just right click it. And you can see there in my text, it says game rule has been updated. Now, nothing will spawn unless uh, we can spawn things with eggs and we can spawn things with a, um, like in a dungeon, if you've got a spawn. Spawners will still spawn and eggs will still spawn, uh, monsters, etc. Uh, but they won't spawn at night uh, just on their own. Okay, so you're going to be safe unless you go dungeoning and then you should be wearing armor anyway. Uh, so now we can uh, we can change things back. So I'm going to change my back self back to sort of normal mode, which is forward slash game. Oops, game mode zero. Okay, and now I have my hearts back and I have my hunger back. And I'm also going to just press escape, go to options, and change from difficulty peaceful to difficulty easy. And then if I start running. I should get hungry. You really need a desert. You get really hungry in deserts if you run in deserts. I'll run around the village a couple of times. Oh, look, there we go. I'm starting to actually get a bit hungry. Brilliant. There's my hunger. Come on. Come on. Hello, everybody. Okay, so there you go. There's my hunger starting to fall. Now you're thinking, haha, that's brilliant. Let's go and grab some bread. I'm sure if I go to the. I'm sure someone's got some bread in here. Have you got any bread? Can I eat? And of course, you can eat anything. Not anything, but you know, baked potato. Oh, here we go. So let's pop into here. Usually, in the blacksmith, there's some. Yeah, oh, there's three diamonds as well. Brilliant. I'll take some bread, thank you. And um, and there we go. Let's just right-click that and just. Mmm, delicious. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Now, that great. So just to sort of test whether mobs are not spawning or not, let's let's turn it to night. So um, that is time set, and you can just say night. Pink. The sun is setting. Lovely. And they are all going home because obviously, you know, they know something we don't, <laughs> which is the monsters are coming, but they're not, um, because we have stopped mobs from spawning. using this amazing command block. So I'll put in the description uh, the command block wiki and uh, so you can have a bit more read about it because it's a very powerful thing uh, and I'm just on single player at the moment, I'm not in a on a server or anything like that. That seems to be a bit of light over there. But as you see nothing is spawning. We haven't got any, we're not going to be bothered uh, from zombies or skeletons or creepers. I've got a bit of light coming from this. It's got a nice house next door. So there you go. I hope that's helpful. Um, oh, is there some lava over there? I thought for one horrible moment it was, uh, it was a skeleton on fire. No, it's just lava. Turn that off. 
and they've got everything here. So I hope that's helpful and uh, if you have any questions or comments do leave them below. Like the video if you did like it, it was helpful, that would be really helpful for me. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, I've got loads more Minecraft videos and helpful tips and hints for anybody who's interested. So until next time, take care and thanks for listening. Bye bye.